Mocha Pro allows users to create powerful VFX and compositing tasks inside of any host, including your edits, through a series of Mocha modules. The module we will focus on today is the Stabilize module. Stabilizing footage is a common task for video editing. While most hosts have stabilization tools, Mocha Pro's Stabilize workflow is driven by planar tracking for advanced and difficult tracking shots. Adobe Premiere and After Effects has a powerful warp stabilizer that works great on many shots, but on this shot, the out-of-focus background and snow make it troublesome for the warp stabilizer to know what to stabilize. Mocha Pro's stabilizer gives the user more control by expanding our tracking data to include more than just simple points or features. We can use Mocha to define out-of-focus regions by looking at the entire texture of the background and avoiding the foreground actor. So let's look at how that's done. I'm going to find my Mocha effect, and we're going to grab Mocha Pro and drag it and drop it right onto our footage. This will bring up, in my effects controls, the Mocha effect. We can hit the Launch Mocha button and start Mocha Pro. In order to stabilize this background, I don't have a lot I can hang on to. But with Mocha, I can track the texture of this house on both sides of the actor's head, and I can avoid the snow because Mocha is smart enough to ignore that noise and turbulence. First, I grab my X-Spline and I draw a shape around the background of my building. I can use the Add to X-Spline tool to grab another section right over here. Now, I can track Translation Scale and Rotation only and track that forward through my shot. If I turn the Surface tool on, I can see that the track is following this really well. Because I can see that my track is getting interfered with by my foreground talent, I'm going to go ahead and draw a shape around my foreground talent to tell Mocha to ignore him. I'm going to call that layer Guy, and I'm going to call this layer Background. Because Guy is above the background, Mocha will hold him out from everything beneath him. So let's click back on our background track and hit Track Forward. What we're going to do is we're going to retrack over the frames that we had previously made. I also could have hand animated the right hand spline out of the way, but this is a little bit more elegant because I let Mocha do all the work for me. I have sped this track up so that you don't have to sit through the handful of seconds it takes to track this. Once my track is complete, I can check and make sure it looks right. And that looks like it's hanging on to me. Now, I just want to point something out to you. I'm going to change the shape of this background shape real quick. And I want you to notice that even though the shape changes, that blue surface tool doesn't. The blue surface tool represents the track, and that's what you need to pay attention to to tell whether or not your shape has tracked correctly. The shape is just where the track is looking. The blue surface tool is what the track is actually doing. And since stabilization requires an excellent track, make sure that you look at your surface tool and you can even turn your grid tool on to make sure that it's really stable. Now I'm going to jump to my stabilize module while selecting my background. And we're going to stabilize all motion because we track X, Y, rotation and zoom, okay, but we didn't track shear and perspective. And that's because sometimes stabilizing shear and perspective can look really odd. So we just did translation scale and rotation, and we can center, zoom, and apply a crop with maximum smoothing. And let's turn off our overlays, and you can see that this locks down my shot. But what are all these settings doing? Well, I don't have to use maximum smoothing. Instead, I can try to just smooth the camera out every 10 frames. And you see that's taken a lot of the shake out of my shot. Or let's say I only want to stabilize my X and Y translation. I can do that, just like this. Or I can make sure that I stabilize my rotation and zoom together. And my shot will end up looking like this. But I'm going to do all motion, maximum smoothing. Now, if I didn't apply my center zoom and crop, my shot would end up looking like this. I'd have black borders everywhere, and then I could crop in to my choice. If I say center, Mocha will center my stabilization based on my tracking data. If I say zoom, 
it'll do its best to crop out my black area so that the zoom fills the entire screen. And apply crop will get rid of any extra black edges if you see any. And that's my stabilized shot. Now, I'm not rendering this inside of Mocha. I can go to File and Save and close Mocha. Back inside of my effects controls, I can go to Module Renders. I can say Stabilize in the drop down menu and say Render by clicking the checkbox. And now the Stabilize will render right back to my timeline inside of Premiere. So here's the before, and here's the after of my lockdown stabilized shot. Mocha Pro's stabilizers can also be used for what we call creative or artistic stabilization. For example, we can track and lock down moving objects to introduce a creative look to our edit. Here, I will track the actor's face and lock down the shot to create an Alfred Hitchcock style look where the actor's movement has been stabilized in relation to the camera. So we're going to take this and we're going to turn it into this. So let me show you how to make that happen. We're going to take Mocha Pro and we're going to drag it to our timeline again, right onto our clip. And again, we're going to launch Mocha. This has created a new Mocha file. Now, I could use my old track I did of the head, but I'm not sure how accurate that track is, so I'm going to make a new track. I'm going to take my simple solids tool as an oval, and I'm going to draw it right around our actor's face, just like this. We're going to track translation scale and rotation again, but not shear and perspective, and we're going to hit track forwards. Again, we turn on our surface tool to make sure that our track is accurate. And again, notice that Mocha ignores the snow. And that's because that texture of the snow is never in frame long enough for Mocha to get stuck on it. If he were waving his hand slowly in front of his face, Mocha would probably try to track that texture. But because this is snow, and it's moving through the shape awfully quickly, we're ignoring that texture data. And just like the previous shot, I've sped this up so that you don't have to sit through it. Once my track is complete, I can scroll through to make sure that looks like it's sticking on correctly, and I feel like it is. So now I'm going to jump to my Stabilization tab, my Stabilize module. Again, we're going to stabilize all motion with maximum smoothing, and I just want to show you what that looks like. You can see that my face is completely in the center of the screen. And again, we can say, hey, center, zoom, and apply the crop. And we get this interesting Alfred Hitchcock or Stanley Kubrick effect. We're focusing on the face only. We warp the background around our actor. Now, I actually find that that looks a little bit weird. So instead of using maximum smoothing, I'm actually going to turn maximum smoothing off. Now... We're just going to try to smooth the camera out a little bit, and it's going to look a little bit more natural. Now, let's say that I don't actually want to use maximum smoothing um, and scale and rotation together. What we're going to do instead is just do X and Y translation. And what we'll do is we'll focus on our actor, and our shot still looks handheld, but our actor is always in the center of the screen. And we're not warping around his face. We're only using X and Y translation to put him into the center of the shot. So it really depends on what your needs are. You have tons of control. All you have to do is decide what texture you want to stabilize around, what planar data you want to stabilize around. Again, to apply this back to the timeline, we go to File, Save, and Close. Module Renders. We select our Stabilize from our drop-down menu and check the render box and now this will render back to my timeline. While this tutorial is using the Mocha Pro plugin inside of the latest version of Adobe Premiere, Mocha Pro's stabilized module can run in many hosts, including Adobe After Effects, Avid, Nuke, Fusion, Vegas, HitFilm, and more. If you have any questions, visit us at www.borisfx.com.